Here's the first part of where to find food around Baltimore while you're at Oticon. It's going to be hot here, so make sure you have plenty of water to drink. Otherwise, you're going to hydrate, then you're going to collapse, then you're going to convulse, then other people are going to point and laugh at you. If you're lucky, someone might make a YouTube video of you and post it, and it'll probably go viral. If you're really lucky, someone might even help you. This week I'm going to focus on St. Paul Street. This is for those of you coming down from Penn Station or for those of you who have made rooms at one of the hotels along the way. Okay, so here's Triflis Pony Club's Legends of, Ar of Archery to listen to as we make our way downtown. Or you can skip the two and a half minute segment and get to the food places where you can fill your mouth with wonderful food. Okay, for those of you who have booked rooms in the past at a place called the Tremont, it is now called the Embassy Suites. It's about around the 200 block of St. Paul Street. Um, it's gone through some changes. Just to let you know where the bistro used to be near the entrance has moved to the second floor. Uh, in that place will be a Starbucks, but not sure if it's going to be ready there for the convention or not. Just south of the Embassy Suites is a place called Trotter's. It's great for a quick, cheap sandwich and chips. It's also a convenience store as well. It closes early, so this is definitely a place where you want to pick up lunch while you're on your way down. And right next door to it is another deli called Take It Away. Also cheap, also closes early, and to be perfectly honest, not really as good as Trotter's. Further south along St. Paul Street is the Quality Inn. Uh, it's very close to the convention center. As a matter of fact, you could probably walk out the door, turn right, cross the street, and be at the Purple Line stop at Fayette Street in like two seconds. Um, you can also walk to the convention. It should only take you about 10 to 15 minutes, but there are uh, places to get food that are actually very close to there. So if you're staying at the Quality Inn, you're actually in a really good place. Not so much for the accommodations, but you know, you're close to the convention and there's food. Okay, uh, right about the 100 block of St. Paul Street is a place called Harbor Market and Deli. Don't bother with the deli portion. In fact, uh, this place closes pretty early because it only really caters to the courthouse crowd. Uh, it's usually useless by 2 p.m. It's good for a convenience store type of place on the way, but other than that, unless you don't need a Diet Coke right away, forget about it. 
Now, right across the street from Harbor Market in Delhi is the Walgreens. It's a local convenience store. Uh, the good thing about it is that it's open at 7 a.m., but it does close at 8 p.m. Um, but another good thing about it is, is if you want to take the purple line down and uh, you need a quick uh, fix and you don't want to go into the Harbor Market in Delhi, go in here, get your caffeine, and get out, and you're good to go. Now, let's suppose that you don't want to go to the Walgreens, and of course you're not going to go to the Harbor Deli, but let's say you want something fast foody. Well, you could turn right off of, on Fayette, off of St. Paul Street, and walk about halfway down the block, and there's the Burger King. Okay, we're going further down St. Paul. Uh, there is a McDonald's on the left-hand side, a dirty, poorly staffed McDonald's. Uh, if you order a Big Mac meal, you may get a half-assed quarter pound of meal instead and served to you by an employee who just wiped his nose with his hand. Um, yes, I'm advising you not to go here. Okay, getting closer to Pratt Street, uh, we're going a little further down in St. Paul, uh, and if you turn right on Baltimore Street, you'll see a place called Foodtopia. During the convention, it will only be open till about 3 p.m. on Thursday and Friday, but it is open at 6 a.m. That means for you breakfast goers, this is a good deal. The breakfast buffet isn't bad, and for lunch, you can get the pricey lunch buffet or order sandwich in the back. It's cheap, fast, and really not that bad. Just stay away from the so-called sushi. For those of you who have rooms at the Marriott Resident Inn, uh, located there on St. Paul, you're in a pretty good location. It's close to the convention, you can practically walk there, and you've got plenty of close-by food sources. Attached to the hotel is 17 Light. Uh, it's a restaurant, it's more of an upscale restaurant than fast food. It also has a nice bar, the menu's limited but pretty good, and pricey. It would make a good Thursday post-badge picking up event or a good meeting place or a good send-off on Sunday. Now, directly across from the inn and on your way to Otakon is a 7-Eleven. It's not the best, service is not that great, but it's open late and it works in a pinch. Even better for you coffee drinkers, just turn left outside of the inn and right next door is a Dunkin' Donuts. Open from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. This is a great quick fix for sugar and caffeine. Just a few steps away from the Dunkin' Donuts is a place called Water Street. It's an overglorified alley with a nice meeting place for the over 21 crowd called the Water Street Tavern. It's basically a bar with some pub food. Um, pay for the burger, but not for the crab cake. Now, just around the corner from that on St. Paul Street is a CVS. It is open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. If you're staying down there, you know, down that part of the city, or you're wandering around after picking up your badges on Thursday, this is a good place to stock up for your hotel room, wherever you might be staying. Also, for those of you with medical prescriptions, there is a pharmacy here. Uh, the number for that pharmacy is 410-685-4843. Now, directly across the street from the CVS is what's called a Royal Farms. It's perfect for a quick fix. It's a bit of a more, it has a bit more product than 7-Eleven. Basically the same hours, but it, it really is just a quick fix. It's hardly even a convenience store. But like I said, if you want a quick soda, a quick hot dog, this is the place to go. Now, for those vegetarians who went to Freshy last year or the year before, sorry to tell you, it's closed. This is the corner of Light and Pratt Street. St. Paul turns into Light uh, a couple blocks north from this point. I'm showing you this picture for a couple of reasons. First, if you're taking the Purple Line Circular down, this is where you'll get off to get to Otakon. Get off the bus, turn right, and you can simply walk to the convention. Directly across the street is the Orange Line stop for the Circular. If you're taking the Orange Line to Harbor East, or if you're taking a short hop from Otakon to the Inner Harbor, this is your stop. A uh, real quick word on the circula circulator, um, it is free, it is mostly clean, and sometimes there may be a bum on board, but it isn't like the MTA where they lean and drool on you. There are several lines where many hotels are located off of, uh, most notably the purple and orange lines. Normally there is a bus every 15 minutes, uh, give or take. 
If you're coming from out of town and or residing in Baltimore for the duration, look up the nearest circulated route stop too. I put the link down below so you can click on it. Circulated runs from 9 a.m. to midnight on Friday and Saturday until 9 p.m. on both Thursday and Sunday. So that's it for this week. Um, hopefully I will post another video within the next few days and this will be more about where to find food at the Inner Harbor, which is a good place to go while you're at the convention.